Hello, my name is Almeida Manzolo, and I'm here to talk about the Kenya National Examination Council 2020 for the Computer Studies Paper 3, that is the Movers Transport System. So today I will be talking about this system in a very good way, the support star college. It is an identity system to teachers and learners, so it requires the serious attention and understanding of the project for you to do your best. So let's start to look about the project and the support to handle it. First of all, our friends scammers will be telling that they have to complete projects and send you the projects. At MCOMS Network, we are ready to come to schools and show the learners on how to tackle the project and the best way to solve the solutions. So if any school needs our services, they can just contact us on the contacts below so that you can come to the institution, handle the project and the student about three to four hours and we'll be done with the project so that you can enjoy having a good learning and we can make the project with the of the students. After that, they can be able to take the project to people after they are done with the exams. Then secondly, I want to talk about this project in perspective. We are the founders of the project and we shall be showing the prototype how it works in various ways. So after three days of this video, we shall be uploading a video of the complete project and how it's supposed to work. Anything besides that is likely to afford. We accept because IT is the changing always and not and it's not a static thing, it's dynamic. We also allow you to be in a position to handle the project in, in a way that you can better understand it. Not strictly limit you to the tables, but what you want is you to understand how we are going to work with the project. So we are available for teaching to students and subscribe to the standard to get the complete project. Don't be left out and ask that you want our service or students or parents who want their, their sons or daughters to get the best of the project, they can as well contact us and get the project. Then meanwhile, the objectives of the projects are listed, but not all the objectives listed there can be achieved directly. You need to add some other objectives apart from those listed on the question paper to ensure you achieve those objectives. I also encourage students to look at the lookup wizard in the combo feature so that you can easily navigate and make their forms more better. And if anyone needs to ask for that or any information is free of charge, you can just contact us and we shall show you how you can make those features appear on your project. Otherwise, it's nice that we are going to give you the best project. Remember, we've been working on projects since 2018, giving the projects that are better, and now you are going to get the best of it. Okay guys, welcome back. And I want to talk this time about what and the things you're supposed to avoid when dealing with this project. The first thing that teachers and students need to avoid is plagiarism. I'm talking about plagiarized work. Someone may sell you a project that has already sold over 1,000 students or over 1,000 schools and you may end up using a duplicate which can make you at the end lose the quality that you're supposed to get. So at this point, what you're supposed to do is this. Learn from us. What we are going to give you is always the best. Don't take projects online. Don't get used to everything and capture everything as important. Filter out the information and get the best. And then comes, we shall give you the best. That is what we promise you up to this, like, to this particular moment. So, guys, check it easy this way. Wait for this time. We are giving you just a week to release the prototype. After that, we allow the schools to call us get the project, teach the students on how they can better handle the project. After that, you don't have issues of plagiarism works because you shall have given the best content. How to develop a right uh, project documentation so that because whatever you have in the database must be coming from the project documentation is also important. And how to get out that particular point is you are supposed to avoid plagiarism. So you can teach about developing a pro uh, project documentation and also developing the complete project. So guys, take it easy schools. We are welcoming you to our site and comms network, website www.mcomsnet.mcoms.co.ke. Email us at info.mcoms and co.ke and also you can as well call us on the phone numbers given below in the description. And after this moment, we have nice stuff for you so you can easily contact us and we can help your school do better rather than doing plagiarism. You are avoiding violating the net rules and if you are the net rules can lead to, can lead to result expulsion. So avoid getting into exam misconduct. We are trying to avoid that by moving around and helping students. Otherwise, you can get a project of this working project in the description. Download it and see how it actually works. Thank you for watching. My name is 
Kamei Namazono. See you next time. Bye bye. And guys, this is the final part. I'm talking about this project before it is completely delivered to you. So today I want to talk about the project. Now that you have the final project, how do you know that your project is completely working? These are the three things that you are supposed to consider. One, be meeting the objective. Two, ensure that the project is as well uh, achieving the documentation requirements. And three, the documentation and the project must be tallied. So objectives can be achieved through reports. Don't consider forms so much. Consider having good tables. Consider having good relationships. And consider having good reports. Forms, if you have a use a pop-up. Make sure that your forms are looking smart. They are off and for people to see them. Whoever will be marking your project shall be loving it. Use auto in future. That is available in Microsoft Access. I encourage all schools to update to upgrade to offer. 16 and about it's better. If a school needs it, we can still deliver to it and it's not for computers for students so that they can always use it. So guys, it is important that you consider having the requirements that are better off to avoid of developing a low quality project. Don't use the visual basic, it's good for programming, you can make the whatever you want, but I don't encourage you to use a visual basic application for program that's VDA. Don't use it because it violates the requirements for net. You're just supposed to develop the project using the graphical user interface and everything to be working from the go. So guys, it is important that you consider everything I'm telling you because they're very important. Ensure that you have the best of it, that you, whatever you're developing shall give you the best, shall make anyone who is developing the project for you give you the best. You can score 100%, it is possible. If you follow the structures correctly, I keep the objectives, make our design documentation, practice on your skills in Microsoft Word to ensure develop a very good project. Practice on your skills in Microsoft Access to ensure you develop good projects. To ensure your forms are up to date, well looking, well designed, good borders. I also encourage schools, if they have machines that support Windows 11, you still have good Windows because it offers a good value. And also for examiners, Windows 11 will be better to ensure that they are, they are marking work that is looking more awesome and updated. They can easily look at the great features and Windows 11. If any school wants it, we are available and you can come and install Windows 10, Windows 11. They are very good Windows and they are updated. Also, provide students to the internet so they can do research about how they can better their project. But if you want to get the best, just subscribe to this channel and you shall have everything ready for you how to develop forms, how to make autofill feature, how to run queries, updates, campaign, and make table queries. They are all possible. And this project they are required because you are supposed to initiate and create a transaction for every activity and each transaction that shall include one the driver must be included, the truck must be included, the loader must be included, and also the group must be included, finance must be included. So for you to achieve that, you must get nice tables, nice queries, nice forms, nice reports, and shall have a very good staff at the end, which shall be the minutes. That's what